Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're gonna go through my everyday makeup basket for October of 2019. I feel like there isn't gonna be a lot in this basket, because I'm actually, so tomorrow I have to pack for my first trip. I am pre-filming a lot of these videos, so I do have to pack so I don't think I'm really gonna have a whole lot other than like new products and products I'm saving for videos here. So let's go through, well first I've got this foundation right over here. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. It's actually almost empty, that's why I'm having it stand up here beside my everyday makeup basket because it's getting close to the point where I'm gonna have to like start scraping the product out and since I'm so close to finishing it, I'm just gonna leave it here and just keep using it. I don't think I really need to change anything for primers right now. Almost done with the Cover FX primer. The e.l.f. Poreless Putty is going with me traveling, so that's definitely going to stay. And I'm going to keep the Hollywood Flawless Filter in here until I'm ready to do my Charlotte Tilbury review. This is everything I'm going to keep in my eye drawer. I've got the two mascaras from ColourPop and a brown liner. I have my eye primer, the Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. For my brows, I ran out the, um, the ABH Clear Brow Gel did run out, so I'm going back to using this Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Mascara. And then I have my NYX Glitter Glue. These are the products I'm moving out of my eye drawer. This Tarte mascara has hit its time, so this is gonna go with mascara, this Tarte liner. Um, same with this Wet n Wild mascara, it has hit its time, so that's going to be an empty now. I think this eyeliner is still okay. This is an Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On, and it's just in... Is Perversion the black shade? It's the black shade. So this is just gonna go back into my collection. Okay, so I've already, since I was almost done with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, I did move in a foundation. This is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage. I think I'm going to save that one and the Too Faced, and I'm going to move the ABH foundation back into my collection until it gets a little bit colder. Since I did do a full video review on it, I'll link that up in the cards if you want to see it. So I think I'm all set with that. Um, I do have some powders in here. I've got the Milani face powder that is a bit too dark for me, but I have pan. It's almost done. And then I have the J-Cat Aquasurance foundation that I'm actually, it's a powder foundation, and I actually really like it. And then for concealers, I'm keeping it simple. These are going to travel with me as well. Uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in Ivory, and then I have the Salmon Color in the LA Pro Conceal. I need to move my chair. My back is killing me. This is everything I'm going to keep in my other powder drawer. I'm keeping my Tarte Clay Play Face Palette because I am going to take that with me. I love that palette for traveling. And I have the AOA Studio Perfect Pressed Powder and the Loose Powder. The Loose Powder is actually almost empty, so I'm going to have to get some more backups of it. I really like it. And so is the uh, Pressed Powder. I might have to repress the Pressed Powder because you see there's like a whole lot of pan in there. And then I have my bread thing. I'm going to move this back into my collection, the Profusion Highlight and Contour Palette. I actually love the contour powders in here, but the highlights are like just okay. Yeah, I was a bit disappointed. I don't like the undertones and they don't blend out as well as I would like them to, but I really did like the contour, the contour shades in here. I'm also going to move back in to my collection, this Pretty Vulgar Blush. It's, it's an alright blush. But right now, I'm still trying to pan a blush, and I'm still hella frustrated with that, so I'm trying to focus on that. But I still want to pull out, like, another blush, because I still have, you know, like, ten blushes in my collection. I'm also going to move back into my collection this Charlotte Tilbury, uh, what's it called? The actual Film Star Bronze and Glow. I have to say, I really like the highlight in here. And the sculpt, like, it looks okay. It's a bit hard-pressed, and it's a bit difficult to blend. So I'm going to put this away for a few weeks, and then maybe bring it back out and try it again once I'm done with all this traveling, once it's colder outside, too. All right, so this drawer down here basically has everything that I am panning right now, along with the blush shade I'm focusing on from my 9 Pan 19, along with the two remaining shades from my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette that I am panning in my 9 Pan 19 as well. So in this drawer I have my 9 Pan 19 and my um, Lust for Lux project pans. And then this final drawer but kind of became like my de facto miscellaneous drawer slash what I would put new products into. I'm going to move these palettes out because I'm actually ready to film this video. So I'm going to keep these just like on my vanity so I remember to actually film that video. This is the Peach Palette from ColourPop and this is the Kylie Peach Extended Palette. I will be filming a battle of the Peach Palettes. 
I'm going to keep all these Wet n Wild palettes in there because I do want to do like a palette roundup on all of my newer Wet n Wild palettes. I have the Pac-Man palette and then I have two of the new like Halloween palettes. I have Coffin Break and In the Smoke. There's a third one that is like blue green and I, for the life of me I can't find it in any stores. So I'm hoping I can try and find that one too before I film that roundup video. I actually didn't get a whole use out of these this past month, so I'm gonna move them back into my collection. These are the Fenty lipsticks in uh, Uncuffed and Unwhat <laughs> and Unattached. I will, however, be keeping my favorite Wet n Wild lipstick, Rebel Rose. This is gonna be my go-to almost nude shade all fall and winter. Last but not least in this drawer, I have a new product from Juvia's Place. This is their loose setting powder that I picked up, and I have the shade White Sands. I've been testing this out, but honestly, I've been preferring the $1 Shop Miss A powder to this one. So this is everything left in that miscellaneous drawer. Excellent. So I'm going to go ahead and put away all the products we just picked out, and we'll move over to my collection to pick out... We'll go shopping. We're going to go shop my stash. Okay, so over in my collection in my foundation drawer, I don't think I need anything, but I do want to pull something out that is a bit older that I want to get some use out of. This is from The Ordinary, and this is the Serum Foundation. I remember really loving this a while ago, and I pulled this out of my backup drawer because it's been sitting in my backup drawer for a long time. So I pulled it out, and I actually put it into my foundation drawer. So I'm going to pull this out, try it out again, see if I can mix it, see if I like it on its own. We'll just do some testing with it. And I think that's all I'm going to pull out of here. All right, down to powders and bronzers and blushes. Don't think I need any face powders, but I do want to pull a different blush out. Let's pull this one from e.l.f. So this is the, I guess just their regular blush in Candid Coral. So just a nice little coral shade. I will pull that out. Hmm. Oh no. Ooh, let's pull this out. So this is from Burberry and this is their Dark Earthy Blush in number 11 Light Glow. Which is really like to me like a light bronzer brontour. It's like a bronzer contour. So I'm gonna pull that out. And you know what? I really want to pull out a pair of lashes because I have not been reaching for lashes recently. But also yesterday at work, a coworker, a new girl was having like an emergency, like she was going to go on a date that night or something and had nothing on. So she like ran to Sephora and picked up some makeup and a new pair of shoes and then ran back to the office. And she's never put lashes on before. So I was in the bathroom helping her put lashes on. And it just got me thinking, you know what, I should start trying to pull some lashes out to use. So let's see, I've got a bunch of these from AOA that I haven't tried out and I want to try out at least one or two pairs before I do my roundup video. So I think I'm going to pull out the Elizabeth pair because these look kind of natural or as natural as lashes can get. So I'll pull those out. What else do I have here? Uh, yeah, these ones are more dramatic. Okay. So that looks good. And I think that's gonna be it for this drawer. Let's see. I'm panning a highlighter right now. So I don't really wanna pull out another highlighter. And I already have a face palette. So you know what? I don't think I need to pull anything from here. Yeah, I've got face palettes. Like I don't think I need anything from here. Yeah. And down for the height for the eyeshadow palettes, I picked up um, a bunch of new palettes from Juvia's Place, and I have some more palettes I need to review. So I think I'm gonna skip the eyeshadows for this month, and we'll go to the rest of my collection. Maybe we'll pick out some um, like single shadows. I have some single shadows we can pull out. Right, let's see, we got some lipsticks here. I'm gonna be focusing in October on my black lipsticks, and I'm hoping to have that black lipstick video up for Halloween. So I'm gonna just kind of ignore the rest of my lipsticks until then. Uh, speaking of lashes, I should pull out a lash glue. Yeah, I've got this, uh, I hope it's not dried out. Please don't be dried out. No, I don't think it's dried out, okay. I'm just gonna pull out this clear House of Lashes lash glue. 
though I should probably pick up like another pair or another lash glue. Let's see, so of all my glitters, I've just been reaching in and pulling glitters out whenever I wanna use a glitter. So I don't think I need to pull one of these out. What I wanna pull out are some singles from here. So let's go through these. So let's see, I've got, I wanna pull this one out, this beautiful green. This one is called CU Space Cowboy and it's from Geek Chic Cosmetics. It's a beautiful green. So I'm gonna pull that one. Ooh, that one's pretty. It's a red. Okay. Uh, I also want to pull this one out. This one is from the Hannibal Lecter collection, and this one is called Professional Curiosity. And it's like a interesting... Oh, shimmer. So we're going to pull that one out. And do I want to pull any ColourPops? Because I still have a ColourPop shadow in there. It is part of my, is it one of my Panda palette? No, I don't think so. I think I just pulled that out. I am using the Super Shock Shadow in Sailor. So let's see, what do I want to pull out? I've got, these are loose shadows. Huh. No, I think I'm good at those two. Yeah. Okay, so I did move all of like my eyeliners and mascaras and stuff to this drawer. So for October, for Halloween, I want to pull these two out, the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils in white and black. And I think that's your, like your basic liner, so I think I'm going to stick with those. I don't really need anything in my concealer drawer, I'm just going to leave it as it is. This is my miscellaneous lip drawer that I like almost never really use. I've got some lip liners and a lip scrub and stuff. Barely use this stuff. <laughs> Okay, primers. I don't think I need anything else here because I'm pretty set. Hmm. Though I should bring this out. This is just the makeup primer spray from Scandinavia. I could probably finish that up or bring it with me when I travel. All right, so a bit quick, but I am going to be traveling and I'll have some travel makeup videos. So be sure to keep an eye out for those. Let me go ahead and add all these new products to my everyday makeup basket and I'll show you what it all looks like. All right, now that everything is put away, I have the peach palettes over here for now. Let's take a look at what the drawers all look like. Here is my kind of boring pan that palette drawer. Not pan that palette, project pan drawer. Here is my miscellaneous drawer with my wet and wild palettes, eyeliners, lipstick, some single shadows. This is the uh, Super Shock shadow that I've actually been using a lot recently, especially with my Pan That Palette and my Juvia's Place loose powder. Here is my kind of face powder drawer. It's also got some lashes in it. I have the blush and the bronzer that we picked out with the face palette. And I've also got the little lash glue right down here hiding and bread thing. Oh no, I just got powder everywhere. <laughs> I need to wash this. Here is my foundation drawer. Not much change, just added the ordinary serum foundation. I took out the ABH. Uh, really no change here since I added the, actually I should put the eyeliners in here, huh? And not in here. Way to go, Monica. I'm gonna keep single shadows in here though. So, added our new eyeliners. And in here we just added our Scandinavia spray. As a little bit of a sneak peek, here are the black lipsticks that I'll be featuring in my next black lipstick video. I've got a black lipstick from Juvia's Place, I got one from MAC, Marc Jacobs, I have the Sephora Collection, Ofra, Smashbox, we got a little bit of everything. Alright, so that is everything for October. Happy, happy, happy spooky season to you all. I absolutely love October, it's my favorite month. My anniversary is that month. The best holiday ever is that month. It's fall, it's crunchy, it's chilly. It's seriously, it's like the best month ever, ever. Fight me. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.